So I was watching the show 13 Reasons Why, and honestly, I'll tell you this much. This is gonna get really dark, but if I ever took my life, I think this would be one of my 13 reasons. And honestly, today's story does get really intense and really just embarrassing. So make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because seriously, it means a lot when you guys do. But what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba, and welcome back to another insane story. So today's story takes place back when I was in middle school. It's my grade seven year, and I remember I was just chilling, doing my own thing one time, going walking down the hallway. And I remember when I was walking down the hallway, I was talking to a lot of my friends that were there well friends in quotations i'm gonna put it in because honestly a lot of these friends of mine aren't actually my friends anymore but at the same time it was middle school so who really out there is still friends with the middle school friends if you are still friends with middle school friends make sure you guys comment down below but basically i remember what i was doing was i was walking down the hallway with some friends and basically what ended up happening was i ended up seeing my middle school crush in the hallway and got really shy now i've talked a lot about my middle school crush on this channel and one thing i gotta say is that no matter what to this day she's the most beautiful girl i've ever Ever seen other than my girlfriend she's probably watching the video right now so i love you babe anyways going on with the story though i remember basically when i saw her in the hallway i looked at her and kind of panicked so i remember i ended up hiding behind my friend group and basically kept walking down the hallway in any way there was no way i was going to embarrass myself at all in front of this girl there was no way i was gonna let her see my goofy loser uncool side that i had back in middle school now one thing i will say is that i was really insecure in middle school and don't get me wrong i feel like a lot of middle schoolers feel this way but one thing i will say is that if anything came up to me my middle school crush i always wanted her to think i was cool like for example i'd post photos of me going to car dealerships sitting in the cars that were inside and basically acting like it was my own car and post on instagram back in the good old days very embarrassing but i mean let's be real a lot of us have done that already and i remember basically one time when i was going to my locker my middle school crush ended up actually coming up to me she came up to me and said hey um i'm just curious there's a new girl in our school and like i think she's like actually like, kind of into you i was just wondering like have you spoke to her now i found I found it really weird how my middle school crush decided to tell me about this new girl in school and honestly i totally just ignored her and said oh like nah like i don't talk to her acting like i'm playing the cool guy that doesn't actually want her even though i'm basically begging to have her and then she ended up telling me okay whatever and she ended up walking away i remember at that point i remember one of my homies came up behind me and said yo bro you ended up talking to her what'd she say she brought up another girl that likes me is what i told him and i remember my friend looked at me all weird saying all right whatever anyways going on i remember i ended up going to my class that day that i had with my middle school school crush and this new girl that ended up coming to our school i remember she ended up entering the classroom when all the students were sat down and the teacher walked up in front of the class and said okay class so this is our new student she is here from romania so everyone show love and respect and yeah take a seat this girl instantly gets up walks over to the seat that was empty that was right beside me because i was sitting in the back of the classroom and she sat down beside me and looked at me and stared me down and said so i was wondering like what's your name uh hi my name is bubba is what i said and i ended up shaking her hand i remember when I shook her hand though my middle school crush looked at me and kind of stared at me kind of odd now I had no idea why this happened and honestly like it was super awkward so I remember when I saw her looking at me I basically refused to talk to the new girl in our class because I didn't want her to think that I had any intentions with her kind of a smart move but at the same time kind of dumb anyways later on throughout the class I remember a teacher ended up handing out an assignment it was an assignment that we had to do with partners and basically we had to make a PowerPoint presentation on mythical creatures that you know were back then like you know known as myths and and stuff so basically i remember i ended up choosing my partner which was one of my homies but he already ended up finding a partner so i ended up getting stuck looking around the classroom for a partner luckily for me there was the new girl in our class that ended up walking up to me saying oh like do you want to be my partner uh i guess is what i said and i remember i ended up becoming partners with this girl so i remember when me and her were like working on the project and stuff we ended up having to take it home because well i'm gonna be real with you guys the project was a really big project so i remember i ended up going home to my place and ended up inviting her over to my house to basically work on the project and i remember as she came over she was really excited to come over and stuff and she was super weird i remember when my mom opened the door for her my mom ended up saying oh she like she's cute and then basically the girl literally said oh like yeah like i hope your son thinks so because i remember when i looked at her and said why would you say that i ended up seeing the new girl that came to our class was literally wearing like a really cute dress i found it super awkward and was hoping that this girl didn't think this was like a date or something i don't know i don't want her getting the wrong mindset but basically she ended up coming into my house and we ended up working in the living room doing our school project and i remember as we were doing our school project she kept asking me questions about the school like for example who's the worst teachers you know like who to stay away from who to be on who's good side how to get to the cafeteria lineup before anyone else gets there to get the cool ice cream okay that was mostly something i knew but you know whatever and basically one thing led to another she ended up popping a question that i did not expect her to ask she ended up asking me oh like just a question uh do you have a crush on this girl 
girl. She ended up literally having a photo on her iPod and was legit a photo of basically my middle school crush. I remember I looked at the photo and said, uh, I mean, yeah, like I liked her for a couple of years now. She was pretty cool. And me saying that, I remember she ended up moving her iPod away and looking at me, staring me deep in the eyes and said, why? Why do you like her? Like wh what's so good about her? I remember I looked at her and said, I don't know, like she's cute and I've had a crush on her for like the last two years. I remember this girl ended up saying, oh, like, then why didn't you like make your move? Because I couldn't is what I told her. And then I kept just working on the project. I remember this girl ended up getting really irritated that I said that and ended up slamming her hands on the table saying, why don't you like me instead? Like, I don't understand. Like, don't you think I'm cute as well? I ended up looking at her super awkwardly and saying, yeah, listen, like, I think you're cool and all, but like, I just don't like you like that. I only like my middle school crush. And also we just met. I remember when I said that she looked at me deep in the eyes and said, well, like, that doesn't mean anything. Uh, yeah, it does is what I told her afterwards. And for some reason, she wasn't taking no for an answer to the point where I remember she got so mad. She ended up standing up and actually leaving my house without saying a word. I remember my mom actually walked into the conversation and just saw her leave. And my mom just looked at me saying, you know, she's maybe cute, but she's pretty psychotic, it seems. And ended up actually going back to the kitchen, making me a sandwich. Now, I thought this was just the end of the conversation. And that's it. You know, like simple as that girl realizes I don't like her and I only like one woman, my middle school crush. But sadly, that wasn't the case. Things ended up going for the worse. I remember the next day when I ended up going to the classroom, we were basically getting ready to tell our presentations. And I remember basically for some reason, my partner was there, the new girl, but she kept looking at me in like a most devious way as if she was going to do something really bad to me or my middle school crush. So I remember I ended up deciding to be the superhero here and basically tell my middle school crush before class started. Hey, like, listen, I don't know what this girl's going to do, bro, but I'm just going to say like, just stay away from her. I remember my middle school crush ended up looking at me saying, okay, I guess. And it ended up going back to her seat. And me, I ended up going back to my seat and then my partner, aka the new girl in class, ended up walking into the room and sat down. At this point, everyone was doing the class presentation to talk about mythical creatures and stuff. And then one thing led to another, it was my turn. I ended up going up with the PowerPoint I ended up making because, you know, she ended up leaving halfway through while we were working on the project and basically started presenting it. And as I was presenting it, I remember this was the most worst moment ever. We were getting towards the end of the presentation and out of nowhere, this girl decides to come up behind me and pants me in front of my entire class. That is right. She literally showed my eggplant in front of my entire class because that day, for some reason, I decided to go commando to school. Listen, like I said earlier, I didn't make smart decisions in school and this was definitely one of them. But at the end of the day, I mean, hey, I guess my crush ended up seeing how big I was. How my crush saw my eggplant at school. So this story does get really insane. But before I do, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Seriously, it means a lot when you guys do. And let's just get straight into the story. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba and welcome back to another insane story. So this story, funny enough, takes place back when I was in middle school. You see, back when I was in middle school, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't the most greatest looking kid. Like, I know I had a, like a really weird pubic stash and honestly, I was just a brown boy growing up. I think that's like the best way to explain it, really. But anyways, I remember one day, this specific day was a special day because the day before, I remember my teacher told us all in class, tomorrow will be sports day. So make sure you guys wear your team's jerseys. And it was basically sports day. Now, if you guys know what sports day is, sports day is basically where a bunch of kids basically go to school, have fun, play games, and do sports or stuff relating to sports. For example, like track and field, kicking a soccer ball, so many different things. If you guys do have sports day, comment down below what was your favorite thing about sports day. For me, it was probably skipping class and not actually doing any homework because homework sucks. Anyways, going on with the story, sports day came around and it was finally the day. I remember I woke up and I was actually like really, really lazy this day. I think it was because I was playing Black Ops 2 zombies for like, I don't know, all night basically. And I slept at like 5 a.m. and I woke up at like 7.30 just to get ready for school. Yeah, my mom was not happy about that, but I remember waking up and I was super exhausted. Like I was tired of the tired. You guys have no idea how exhausted I was, but I still got up for school because it was sports day. I'm not going to miss out on a day where I could literally just do nothing in school. So I remember I got up and I was walking to my closet and I remember I was going through my clothing. I got my t-shirt, my pants that I needed, my socks. I always wear socks. Feet are weird. And I remember I looked for the one final thing and that was my underwear. Now I remember when I was looking for it, I couldn't find any clean underwear. Before anyone says anything, no, I'm not going to wear dirty underwear. Ew. Seriously, who do you think I am? One of those e-girls on Twitch that sells them? Oh, by the way, I'm live on Twitch as we speak, by the way. I forgot to mention that. Anyways, when I realized I had no clean underwear, I remember I was panicking. But then I remember that, honestly, there was one thing I could do. And guys, don't ever do this. But I ended up going commando. Now, if you guys don't know what commando is, basically going commando is a certain thing that most kids shouldn't be doing in middle school. And a lot of kids shouldn't be doing in general. The only time you do this if you're home alone or you just have nothing better to do. Hell, I'm usually naked when I'm home alone, but going on. The basic way to say what is going commando 
out is basically not wear underwear. Going out and not wearing underwear at all. That is the definition of going commando. And I ended up doing it. I remember I put on my gym shorts and I'm not gonna lie. My gym shorts were like one of those gym shorts where it's like really easy to not see through. But you know, like it, it's it's obvious I'm making shapes and it, it was pretty hard to hide my enormous eggplant. So uh, yeah, that, that wasn't fun. But honestly, I ended up going to school anyway. Me being the lazy person I was, I just ended up getting up, going to school. And when I got there, I remember all of us were just kind of hanging out in classrooms, getting ready for sports day. I remember sitting down and seeing my crush and I remember looking at her while she was looking at me. It was kind of awkward interaction. Thank God she didn't look down at my massive eggplant because that would have been a bad idea. But honestly, the story does get worse. So let me explain. I remember getting up partway through sports day and we all ended up going outside to the field. We were all basically like doing these basic things like running and all this stuff and doing all these things. But honestly, me, I didn't participate in many sports because one, I was tired as hell. And two, I'm not going to run when I don't have any tidy whities on, bro. Because if I do, then everyone in my school is going to see something massive just going side to side. And yes, I am talking about my eggplant. Okay, guys, don't don't be weird. So most of sports day, I remember I ended up just sitting down at the bleachers with my friends or friends, as we would call it. They're mostly just people that help me with my homework. I ended up just sitting down and just talking to all of them about sports day, how fun it was and all this stuff. And me sitting down, not many people would look between my legs, which is a good thing. And then I remember the one thing that I hated most, my middle school bully. God, man, I seriously hate this guy. There's so many problems with this dude that you guys have no idea. Anyways, he was a lacrosse player. And honestly, he was like one of those kids that thought he was super cool. You know, he, he acted like the cool kid in school. And even though he had blonde eyes, blue hair, and he was like the perfect guy, I guess in most girls' eyes back in middle school, I honestly hated him. My whole entire gut hated him. And there's so many stories of why. So if you guys do want another story with him in it, trust me, I got many of them. Anyways, one of the main reasons though, why I really hated my middle school bully was because he had the same crush as me. We both liked the same girl since the beginning of middle school till the end. And it sucked. I remember me and him would always have random competitions throughout like the school year, but knowing that it was sports day, I guess being competitive went up another step. I remember what ended up happening was a lot of the students ended up going to line up for the long jump. If you guys don't know what long jump is, basically it's this thing where you basically run as much as you can and jump into a pit of sand. And you mark the sand and you're like, oh, you jumped this far, whoop de doo And it's kind of just dumb. And I remember my middle school crush ended up lining up for the long jump. Now me sitting there on the bleachers, I remember looking at my friend and telling him, yo, do you think I can do long jump? And then he looked at me saying, dude, you're literally 5'2". There's no way you can do long jump. And at that moment, I said, screw it. I remember getting up and walking over to my middle school crush and I ended up lining up right behind her. And as I was lining up right behind her, I was just kind of chatting her up, you know, having a little cool conversation, being cool, you know, all that cool stuff, or at least pretending to be cool. I'm going to be honest. And I'm not going to lie. I was kind of covering my like wee wee or eggplant with my arms somewhat just so she wouldn't look down further enough. And me and her had a good conversation. I'm not going to lie, guys. We literally talked about Harry Potter, Percy Jackson, the lightning thief. She was a book reader, apparently. I don't, I don't know. She was hot, so I didn't really care. And, you know, we were just having a basic conversation. But of course, as usual, the worst of the worst ended up happening. I remember as we were just having a normal conversation with eye to eye contact, my middle school bully came up to me. He came up behind me and tapped me on the shoulder saying, hey, what's going on, doofus? And he ended up turning my body. I ended up telling him to leave me alone. And honestly, my middle school crush was kind of like weirded out by like what was going on. So she kind of just turned away and went back to talking to her friends. And I kept looking at him saying, dude, just leave me alone. Like, I'm just trying to have a conversation, bro. And he's like, oh, what are you going to do? You're going to shoot me, little boy? Yeah, I don't know. He would make up really dumb jokes about like me having a bomb and stuff because I was brown. Not funny, by the way. Racism's not cool. And then I remember I ended up just looking at him saying, leave me alone. You're so dumb. And at that moment, I turned around and I started talking to my middle school crush again. But boy, do I regret it. I remember when I turned around and started talking to my middle school crush again and me and her had eye to eye contact again. He ended up doing the unthinkable. He said, yo, Bubba, check this out. And as I was just trying to ignore him, Ben decided to grab my pants and pull them down. He literally pantsed me when I was going commando at school in front of my middle school crush, not to mention. Yeah, that was not fun. I was pissed. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I, I had so much anger going through me that when I had eye to eye contact with my middle school crush, I remember I just see her eyes go from my eyes down to my eggplant. She saw my massive eggplant. And honestly, guys, I was so embarrassed. Like you guys have no idea how embarrassed I was. I think from a scale of one to embarrassed, I was super embarrassed. And I remember being so awkward to the point where I was like, uh, uh, and my hands were kind of like in the air, kind of freaking out as my like giant eggplant is just swinging side to side and freaking panicking. And then I remember my middle school crush just looks out my eyes again. She's like, why aren't you wearing underwear? And I'm like, oh, and I literally pulled my pants back up and I ran away, but I didn't just run anywhere. I ran home. I literally ran four blocks just to go home and 
not look back. I never sprinted so fast in my life. Like, I didn't run that fast during the track meet when it was sports day. Like, I sprinted, bro. I remember my teachers were pissed off, like, really mad at me because I ended up running away. And the next day at school, when I went back there, I remember my middle school crush was kind of ignoring me because I don't blame her. She literally did see my giant eggplant, which sucks. But overall, yeah, um, it was just mortal embarrassment. And honestly, to this day, I absolutely just hate it. And also, screw you, my middle school bully. You know who you are. I know you watch my videos, punk. I remember she looked at me right into my eyes and then afterwards looked down as we were both in swimsuits. And I am not joking. She noticed my eggplant was super bricked. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba, and welcome back to a super embarrassing story. So today's story all takes place back when I was in middle school, and this was my grade seven year. Now, I remember back in grade seven, I will say, I think puberty was hitting the hardest at that moment. If you guys don't know what that means, well, you're probably too young to be watching this channel, but puberty was a big thing for me that I was hitting back when I was in grade seven, and I will say this much, it was not easy. Knowing that, you know, when guys hit puberty, we start getting bricked and stuff was a pain, and especially for girls, I understand you guys hitting puberty is actually super painful compared to us, but for us, it just gets super annoying because, well, when you have something you can't control like your eggplant, it starts to really get annoying to the point where you get embarrassed every moment of your day where you can't even think straight. And I remember back in grade seven, this happened to me one time because in my grade seven year, I remember I walked into my homeroom classroom. Now in homeroom, we were all basically sitting down at our desks and everything. And instantly our teacher walks up to the front of the class and says, okay, class, so I'm going to be handing you guys permission slips to go to the swimming pool. I hope you guys are all excited. This is going to be amazing. I remember when she said the swimming pool, I was like, kind of like happy to be going swimming. But at the same time, I wasn't much of a swimmer back in grade seven. So obviously, you know, I was a little on the fence about it, but all the guys were all freaking out being super excited because they all want to show off how they could jump from the highest diving board, which I don't understand how that's a flex. It's terrifying to jump off a diving board, but basically all of them were just talking about like, you know, going swimming and getting super excited. And when the guys were talking about getting excited, all the girls were as well. So me, I'd pretend to be excited as well with them and all this stuff. And while the teacher was handing out permission slips, I will say this. I knew that it was going to be my due because like I said, I was hitting puberty that time. And I knew that if I saw something I was even slightly attracted to, even if it was like a really attractive Grand Theft Auto character, I would get bricked. Yeah. It was like a superpower that I could not control. And I will say this. I basically kind of did not want to go swimming. So I remember heading home that day. I ended up walking up to my parents and I ended up basically hiding the permission slip into my backpack because I was just too scared to, you know, bring it up to them and be like, yeah, like I don't want to go because then it's going to go into the talk of, you know, the birds and the bees, which I do not want to talk about with them. Anyways, I remember the next day happened and out of nowhere, I ended up seeing my mom come downstairs to my bedroom. And I remember as I was playing my Xbox, out of nowhere, my mom ended up going into my backpack for some reason and she found the permission slip. My mom would usually check my backpack once in a blue moon because she would, doesn't want, you know, food to rot in there because sometimes I would not eat the lunches that she would pack for me. So it makes sense why she was in there. But when she saw the permission slip, I remember she came downstairs and said, Bubba, why aren't you going to the swimming pool? Why didn't you tell us about this? Oh, mom, don't don't worry about it. I am not much of a swimmer anyway. Bubba, what do you mean? Your dad taught you how to swim. I'm, I'm good, mom. I, I don't really want to swim, you know? Bubba, you're going swimming. The school wants you to go swimming. You go swimming. Um, okay. I'll, I'll go. I'll go. I remember the next day happened and I ended up handing in my permission slip and I brought my swimsuit to school. And I will say this much. I realized how much I really did not want to go swimming once I got there. But I remember all the guys were super excited that, you know, we were all going swimming and we all actually ended up heading over to the swimming pool. And I'm telling you this right now, when we got to the swimming pool, it was the most embarrassing thing ever. Because I remember once we got there, we all ended up heading straight to, you know, the change rooms. And when we got to the change rooms, I remember everyone started changing and, you know, getting into the, like their swimsuits. And honestly, in my mind, I was thinking, you know what? I should be able to handle this. I was trying to like basically make myself more brave, I guess, in a sense. And I am not joking when I say this. Once I got out of the change room and I saw my entire class at the pool and girls getting wet at the swimming pool, it instantly happened where I got bricked. Now I got bricked so quick. And I remember I didn't know how I was supposed to, you know, make it calm down. So right away at that moment, I ended up looking around to see if I can see anything that would make this thing disappear. And I realized that there was a really big fat woman at the other side of the pool that was really disgusting looking, not trying to fat shame anyone, but, but this woman was not attractive whatsoever to me. So I remember I would quickly look at her and it would go back down. So knowing that I had something to stare at when I was, you know, in panic was a good thing. So going on from there, me thinking I had a plan and everything and had like a whole idea sorted out that I was going to just keep staring at this woman was not the smartest thing because I will say it got pretty creepy at some moments where I would get bricked and then instantly I would end up staring at this woman. This woman would look at me thinking, what in the world is this kid doing? But at the same time, the plan was working. 
things were going okay everything was fine until it wasn't because i remember out of nowhere there was a moment where one of the guys ended up walking up to me saying yo bubba all the guys want to play tag and some of the girls are playing do you want to play i remember from there all of us started playing tag and i will say this it was super fun to play tag with everybody but one thing i tried avoiding was tagging the girls i never wanted to tag the girls because i didn't want to touch them because i knew if i touched one of them my puberty would hit and i would end up you know getting bricked so i ended up just tagging the guys instead and basically we had a really good time until there was one moment where i was on the edge of the pool and there was a girl that was basically i guess kind of attracted to me back when i was in middle school and she wanted me to tag her outside of the pool so all my friends were telling me to go tag that girl and i was like kind of in panic because i didn't want to like i'd rather swim another like 10 laps and tag another guy than tag her but all the guys were peer pressuring me too so i got up out of the wet pool with my swim shorts attached to my skin and i tagged her and right as i tagged her i ended up touching her right on the cherries i tagged her on the cherries i i, I don't know why it just ended up happening because she was like about to run but honestly i will say this right as i did that i remember this girl ends up looking at me and staring right into my eyes and then she looks down and says bubba what's wrong with you i ended up being super confused saying wait why what's wrong and then i looked down and i realized i was bricked this girl caught me bricked and it wasn't even like the hot girl from my school it was just some like random chick but since i ended up touching her cherries i i ended up getting super bricked i, I don't know it was so embarrassing and i was so nervous and i remember from that moment everyone was staring at me and i did not know what to do i remember i started panicking even more and more and more and it got to the point where i remember i ended up sprinting out of there and i started running on the pool deck and instantly everyone started looking at me laughing and as i was running i remember one of the lifeguard says hey stop running at the pool but i kept running i went to the change rooms i basically showered as fast as i could got changed and left i left the pool and i walked home i didn't even go back to school with my class i went home went to my bedroom and started crying honestly i will say this it was so weird and i remember the next day when i got to school it was the talk of the century but hey what can i say if you were hitting puberty and going through those hard moments try your best not to get bricked because well if you do then you might relate to this and you should fall for more embarrassing stories like this one peace out guys